Have you ever wondered why some people seem to excel seemingly effortlessly while others struggle despite their best efforts? It's a curious phenomenon that has puzzled many. Could it be something beyond hard work or inherent talent? Let's dive into the idea of a growth mindset, a belief that our intelligence and abilities are not fixed traits, but rather malleable and capable of development. So consider this. Could the secret to success lie in something as simple as the way we think about our abilities? In her groundbreaking research, psychologist Carol Dweck introduced us to two mindsets, fixed and growth. Let's dive into what these terms mean. Imagine two people standing at the starting line of a race. The person with a fixed mindset believes they were born a runner, that their talent is innate, and that they don't need to put effort into improving. They think, I'm a natural, I've got this. They are confident, but their confidence is fragile, easily shattered by failure. On the other side of the track, the person with a growth mindset believes they can become a runner through hard work, practice, and perseverance. They think, I may not be the best now, but I can improve. Their confidence is resilient, built on a foundation of effort and improvement over time. In essence, the fixed mindset views abilities as static, unchangeable. It's the belief that you're born with a certain amount of intelligence or talent, and that's all you get. This mindset can lead to a fear of failure as any setback is seen as a reflection of inherent limitations. In stark contrast, the growth mindset embraces the idea that abilities can be developed. It champions the power of effort, learning, and resilience. It's the belief that, with persistence and hard work, you can enhance your intelligence, expand your skills, and increase your abilities. This mindset sees failure not as a dead end, but as feedback, an essential stepping stone on the path to improvement and success. So the key difference lies in how these mindsets perceive and respond to challenges. The fixed mindset views challenges as threats, as tests that might reveal their inherent limitations. The growth mindset, on the other hand, sees challenges as chances to learn, grow, and improve. In a growth mindset, challenges are not obstacles, but opportunities. They are the fuel that ignites the fire of learning, the catalyst that propels us forward on our journey of personal and professional development. So, which mindset will you choose? The race is on. Let's consider the classic fable of the tortoise and the hare, but with a twist. Imagine a world where the tortoise and hare are not just characters in a simple race, but embodiments of two contrasting mindsets. The hare, with his natural speed and agility, believes in his inherent abilities. He's confident, even cocky. He represents a fixed mindset, a belief that his abilities are innate and unchangeable. He relies solely on his natural talent, seeing no need for effort or strategy. On the other hand, the tortoise, aware of his slow pace, represents the growth mindset. He doesn't view his speed as a fixed trait, but as something that can be improved with effort and persistence. He believes in the power of hard work, dedication, and most importantly, a positive attitude. As the story goes, the hare, confident of his victory, takes a nap mid-race. He believes his innate talent is enough to win, underestimating the importance of consistent effort. Meanwhile, the tortoise, undeterred by the hare's speed, keeps moving forward, step by step, demonstrating determination and resilience. When the hare awakes, he's shocked to find the tortoise nearing the finish line. He dashes towards the end, but it's too late. The tortoise, slow and steady, wins the race. But this is not just a story about a race, it's a metaphor for life. The hare's fixed mindset led him to underestimate the value of effort and overestimate his innate abilities. The tortoise, however, with his growth mindset, understood that effort and persistence are just as important, if not more so, than inherent abilities. The tortoise knew he wasn't the fastest, but he also knew he could be better, he could improve, and he could reach his goal if he put his mind to it. He embraced the power of yet, he may not be fast yet, but with effort and persistence he could become faster. The tortoise didn't win because he was naturally faster, but because he believed in the power of effort and persistence. But it's not just fables and anecdotes. The growth mindset has scientific backing. Let's delve into the fascinating world of neuroscience to understand how our brain supports the growth mindset. The human brain, a marvel of nature, is not a static organ, but a dynamic and adaptive entity that's capable of incredible transformation. This is due to a phenomenon known as neuroplasticity. Neuroplasticity is the brain's remarkable ability to reorganize itself by forming new neural connections throughout life. It's like an architect who continuously reshapes and redesigns the blueprint of a building. 
This is the very foundation of learning and growth. When we learn something new or practice a skill, our brain changes, new neural pathways are formed, existing ones are strengthened, and unused ones may be discarded. This is the brain's way of becoming more efficient, reshaping itself to better adapt to our experiences. Just think about it. When you learn to play a musical instrument, for example, the areas of your brain responsible for motor skills and auditory processing become more active and well-connected. Over time, as you continue to practice, these brain changes become more pronounced, leading to increased proficiency. This is the growth mindset in action, in the very structure and function of your brain. But it's more than just learning new skills. Our beliefs and attitudes can also shape our brain. Research has shown that individuals with a growth mindset who believe they can improve and grow actually have brains that change and adapt more readily. They are more likely to embrace challenges, persevere in the face of setbacks, and see effort as a path to mastery, all of which contributes to greater neuroplasticity. This is a testament to the power of the growth mindset. It's not just a positive attitude or a belief in self-improvement. It's a scientifically proven approach that leverages the natural adaptability of our brains. Our brains are not fixed, but constantly evolving, growing, and adapting. So, how can adopting a growth mindset benefit you? Picture a world where challenges are not stumbling blocks, but stepping stones. Where failures are not dead ends, but detours leading to new paths of discovery. This is the world of a growth mindset, a world of boundless potential and endless opportunities. One of the most compelling benefits of a growth mindset is that it fuels motivation. Unlike a fixed mindset that sees abilities as unchangeable, a growth mindset views them as expandable. It believes that effort is the key to unlocking potential, and when you believe your efforts can make a difference, you're more likely to put in the hard work to strive to reach for the stars. But it's not just about motivation. A growth mindset also fosters resilience. Picture a rubber band. Stretch it and it bounces back. That's resilience. Life will stretch us, sometimes to our breaking point. But with a growth mindset, we learn to bounce back. We learn to see setbacks, not as insurmountable obstacles, but as opportunities for growth. We learn to adapt, to evolve, to become stronger. And then there's the love for learning. A growth mindset sees knowledge not as a destination, but as a journey. It sees every new piece of information as a stepping stone towards greater understanding. It's not about being the best, but about becoming better. In the classroom, this attitude fosters a thirst for knowledge. It encourages curiosity and cultivates a lifelong love for learning. In the business world, a growth mindset can be a game changer. It encourages innovation, drives performance, and fosters a culture of continuous improvement. It's the mindset that says, we can do better, we can be better. And on a personal level, a growth mindset can be transformative. It can help you overcome self-doubt, break free from limiting beliefs, and unlock your full potential. With a growth mindset, you become the master of your own potential. So how can you cultivate a growth mindset? Well, the beauty of a growth mindset lies in its simplicity. It's not a complex algorithm or a secret recipe that only a few can access. It's something that each of us can embrace and nurture within ourselves. First off, it's about embracing challenges. Instead of shying away from obstacles, see them as opportunities to stretch yourself and learn something new. It's okay to feel uncomfortable. In fact, that discomfort is a sign that you're pushing yourself out of your comfort zone. And that's where real growth happens. Next, remember to persist in the face of setbacks. Failure isn't the end of the journey, but rather a stepping stone on the path to success. When you stumble, don't let that discourage you. Instead, pick yourself up, dust yourself off, and learn from the experience. Each failure brings with it a valuable lesson that can propel you forward. And finally, understand that effort is the path to mastery. It's not about being the best right off the bat. It's about showing up day in and day out and putting in the work. It's about recognizing that growth comes from consistent effort and that every step you take, no matter how small, is progress. Remember, a growth mindset is not about being perfect. It's about constant growth, improvement, and learning.